Ladies and gentlemen, the next on our list this morning is a leader in this house. He's been in this ministry since 1994. It is exactly 30 years this year. Let's give it up for Deacon Samuel Ayangwa. Deacon Samuel Ayangwa. Please give him a clap. 1994. Okay, whichever way. 30 years ago. Please sit down, sir. Welcome to my VFM story. You know, um, in the early 90s was when I knew this man. We used to attend one fellowship then. And uh, no, it's in the 80s. And in the late 80s, I knew him. And we used to attend one fellowship somewhere in second and second. I can't remember the place now before he finally joined us in Mark of Christ. Then these are men that have followed me. Please, one more time, give him a clap of faith. So, sir, we want to know uh, your journey so far. What has what have you? Why are you still here? And what has God done that you are still here? Thank you. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Daddy, thank you so much. God bless you. Um, in fact, uh, without this man here, I don't, know, I don't know how some people look at him. Without him here, I would have been a uh, history of the past story of the past yes he himself he brought I and my family into life today what I'm saying is no, see that. <laughs> <laughs> that we are alive today is just his words the glory that God gave to him like you and other ones there think about what you are hearing from this man not only here and go when you reach out sit down and meditate in anything he said watch that thing will surely come to pass Papa thank you God bless you and in fact uh, um, I'm coming from somewhere it's a very tough area. Uh, I am the next. You are the next. You are the next. After something happened, made me to come close. Otherwise, when he did Dumez Road, as what he said before, Dumez Road Junction, that uh, primary school there, that is where uh, I met him for the first time. Indeed, God planted something wonderful into his life. Deliverance is not a journey of go and come. It's a wonderful thing. That is what brought us alive today. But I said thank you again. Thank you, sir. God will bless you. I'm alive today. I got married and uh, have children. Train them. Uh, do many things. It's just from his mouth and what he asked me to do is what I did so please stop jumping from here and there, stop it what you are looking for is in this place there, come on there, put your hands there, together there was a time there was a time I looked like a snake Snake. most of you will know me must know People say I carry HIV. Some say this, that. So many things. I have so many things. But glory be to God. There is something in him that speaks in our life. He prays for us every day. Every night. So I want you to know one thing. You are alive today. It's not because of whom you are. It's just the grace of God. And the power that God gives to your prophet. Your prophet. That you are hearing his word. 
That is why you are alive today. What changed my life? My sons. I have a, God bless me with six children. Two girls and uh, four boys. All of them are graduates. And some of them don't fly. Leave me in Nigeria. But glory be to God. They need, as they tell my children, don't forget where your foundation is. All their foundation is in this place. Here. Here. Without him, that's what I'm telling you. Without him, my family would have known nobody. Today, I have 90. I have 75. I have 80 in the village. It's not because of him. He discovered it and he asked me to do this and do this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ask yourself a question. Don't jump here and there. Remain where you are. God will bless you. Come on, give him a leak. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dikinanyama. God bless you. God bless you for staying with me and staying with this ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dikinanyama. Give him a clap.